Hello and welcome to yet another much requested, I guess, ship video. Uh, this time it's the Tier 8 Imperial Japanese Navy Amagi. Uh, the Amagi, being Tier 8, is the second highest battleship in the game right now, since there's no Tier 9. Maybe there will be one, maybe there will be one, but they haven't put it in yet. But so far, the Amagi is the second highest one, uh, with the Amato, of course, being the highest battleship in the game. Uh, or the highest tier battleship, and the Imagi is quite a dangerous opponent. Um, we'll go over the heart stats in a second, but this ship actually has a quite interesting feature. It has three in the back and two at the front. Um, and the thing is that the Nagato, um, let me switch to it, has that same setup, but you actually get a, a gun extra, basically. Uh, so that's really, really useful. You, you get five... Uh, five turrets within each turret two uh, guns or two barrels um, and each turret has a double 410 millimeter gun um, so that, that is that is pretty good the, the ship actually is pretty darn amazing we'll go over the stats so common capability or HP wise we're talking more than 66 thousand uh, points or health points or hit points uh, that's a lot of points, and uh, it's it's definitely you're, you're definitely gonna need it because people will shoot at you. And Amagi is quite a dangerous ship, I've noticed already. Armor, two hundred and fifty-four millimeters, and that's that's still that's that's pretty darn good. Uh, looking here, we can see the gun casemates, and the Citadel are the ones that are the most heavily armored. Moving up to the most important part, probably is the main our main battery, which we've already discussed. It fires about once every thirty seconds has a um, great AP shell damage of 13,540 and almost a 20 kilometer range and by the way check that cause a chance of fire on target target cost by HE shell of 31 percent yeah you don't want to get up you don't, you don't want to get hot you don't want to get hit by these guns that's for sure all right moving up to the secondary armament we have eight 127 millimeter double barreled um, dual purpose guns. These will fire at ground, at, which will ground targets, at <laughs> naval targets and at air targets. And we get eight of those. Well, that is uh, quite a uh, quite an interesting uh, quite an interesting defensive ornament. We get 16 of these <laughs> weird looking uh, 140 millimeter single barreled guns, who are there for anti ship defense. Pretty useful though, if you come into a close battle with a like destroyer or a cruiser, these will actually do damage over time quite rapidly. Going on to the AA guns, we have 18 uh, single barreled 25mm, I'm not going to show you every one of them. We have 6 triple barreled 25 mil, so, sorry, 25 mils, all here. Uh, right next, uh, right here on the tower. I think it's right behind the tower, isn't it? Yeah, it's behind the tower and the, between the, the, the funnel and the smokestack and the um, the tower there. Um, I already showed these. We get 24 double 20 mils. That's, that's a lot of 20, 25 mils, sorry. And then again, as I already showed, the dual purpose 127 mils. So yeah, hello. You don't want to get shot up by those. Maximum speed of 30 knots. Yeah, no, it's a battleship and it's a big one. What do you expect? Same goes for the turning radius. Rudder shift time. I do have on mine. I do have the rudder shifter on here, which helps. Which it takes 20% off of the time it takes to shift from well left to right, which I think is is actually you know quite an interesting uh, you know tear up or a quite interesting upgrade or level up and yeah concealment you're a battleship what do you expect 70 kilometers of service detectability range and 13.7 from the air but then again you know eh, it's a battleship you want to you know it's not like you're going to be hidden you mean like you cannot just like you know hide this ginormous ship it is a scout has repair abilities as every battleship pretty much does um be had a flak on this one you know it's that's that's a damn on that that's like a lot of 25 mils um, we're talking like 48, 48, 48, 25 millimeter guns. And then some of these are also tripled or doubled. Um, you know, this is 48 alone and this is 18 alone. So we're, we're talking like in excess of, of, of 70, 80 guns. Um, you know, that's, this, this ship actually has quite decent AA capabilities, especially considering there's also the dual purpose uh, 40 mils, or sorry, 127 mils. So yeah, uh, I got a, quite a good game for you guys lined up. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy and then uh, let's go on.
So, welcome to that uh, that map that I still know the name of, but it's the map with all the ice on it. And it is quite an interesting map. I do like this. It's not really realistic. <laughs> Japan and uh, America fighting each other over an Arctic map. But, you know, hey, it's for fun. It's more an arcade game. I had a lot of fun in this game. Um, so, as we see here, I am the only Amagi on my team. And the enemy has an Amagi as well. So... Yeah, there's two tier eight battleships in the game, and the enemy has. Uh, we both have tier eight Lexingtons, but we have a tier six Ranger, and I kind of forgot. Wait, maybe we I mean, at least we have a tier eight carrier and a, and, a, and a tier six, and they have a tier seven and a tier eight. Um, which, if you have played the game, you will know how difficult it is for a tier six carrier to, you know, engage with a tier seven carrier. Um, the fighter planes of the tier 7 carrier will just be better, and then it's going to be very hard for, uh, hang on, okay, so the tier 6 is, is called a Saipan, tier 7 is a ranger, my, my, my apologies. So we had a Saipan in Lexington, they had a ranger in Lexington. So it's very hard for our tier 6 carrier to, you know, start engaging enemy fighters. Um, because A, they're going to be tier 7, or B, even worse, they're going to be tier 8, which... You know, it's not really something that he, he fancies going up against. Um, my target in this game was to, first of all, kill the Amagi. You can see the Cleveland there in the bottom left is gonna just go on a suicide run. But my point here was trying to kill the Amagi. I just fired a volley, knowing it was never, you know, going to, to hit the enemy. Um, you know, I decided, you know, I'm out of range. I might as well fire a volley quickly. And, you know, I don't know. Like, I, this was just a, a volley. To get the range going, you know, to get the, the um, time to target, um, you know, a, a basic understanding again of, you know, how long it would take my shells to go there. Pretty nice shot, if I, if I might say so myself. I like, I love my, it looks pretty cool. I do look, I do like how it looks. So my point was here, though, to engage with the Amagi, because, of course, he would be my, you know, number one enemy in this game. Um, you know, he'd probably be focusing on me, too. Um, well, I spot a cruiser over there. He does get uh, torpedoed. And he loses all of his health pretty much. The Mogami gets absolutely destroyed. And there's not much left of him. I do miss my shots, which is due to the fact of him, um, well, going in probably either full reverse or uh, or all stop mode, trying to evade those torpedoes, which didn't really work out for him. So they're down to Mogami. He just got killed. Sexka, you can see it in the bottom right. He, he just got killed. That was the guy in the Cleveland who was suiciding. Amagi's at a range. I again just decide to fire, hoping he might turn into those ones, which he probably done, you know, which he, which I knew he was not gonna do, but I was, I knew I'm still out of range. Um, I decided to close the distance a little bit. Also, I decided to stay with our, uh, with our cruisers over here instead of, you know, taking the long route over there, um, where our other battleship is going, just to buff me on the mini map. So I decided actually to turn around and go back south. Um, not so much because I didn't want to fight the Amagi. But more, I didn't want to go all the way up north and stay out of their range for, you know, basically the entire game. And I decided to turn around, head back, you know, to basically where I spawned, head back south, southeast again. Um, and hopefully this time get a shot on some of the enemies because I was going to be able to close uh, in with the enemies doing this, uh, I know, and not hit a iceberg. Trying to see if I can hit the, uh, the Fuzo, the tier 6 Japanese battleship. I aim for a shot, kind of high. I must say those were kind of uh, those were kind of high, um, but here we go. When the follow shells in, and one hit, two hits, four hits, and Citadel hits. Loses about twenty thousand health. That was a pretty decent shot. He is going to make it past the iceberg, icebergs, or isn't? Is he? Six seconds left. Seven seconds on some of them. Four, three, two, one. The cruiser and the battle, uh, no sorry, those two battleships are trying to, to rage, race behind the iceberg there. I do fire another volley, and here they almost, like, I don't know, hit each other, almost? So, I was super unlucky uh, here, and I, I didn't manage to do that much damage. I do get a critical damage on him, I do some damage on his gun, I got four hits. Nothing really spectacular, don't do a lot of damage there. Eight hits in total, one Citadel hit, and one critical damage. And Nagato, the tier seven Japanese battleship. Seems like he's firing on someone closer to him, so again, oh, he's actually, it looks like he's firing at me. See the shells coming in there. 
Um, they miss, except for one, which does absolutely no damage. I lose like 400 health or 400, 403 health there with that one. Another Citadel hit, I do 13,000 damage. And a little, a little bit more, I guess, like 13,500, like 15,000. At least I do enough damage to to, uh, to to show who's boss here. Um, he, uh, he he's, he's closing. I mean, he was out of uh, out of scouts scouts. Um, like he was out of scout range. That's why he's like. That's why he appears to be disappearing and appearing every time. Uh, I do know notice that I am uh, you know basically going straight towards the alpha uh, capture zone. I got three hits on him by the way there. Straight toward towards the alpha cap zone, and I'm pretty much the only ship here to get away the cruiser. And uh, I'm not too happy about that, especially since there's three dest three destroyers. There's a Pensacola cruiser here, tier seven American cruiser. I do make my, uh, you know, just to be sure, I tell my secondary batteries to open up fire on them if he gets within five kilometers. Follow these shells in. I get a hit. Probably should have loaded. Probably should have loaded HE. Uh, at this point, I fire one more shell that, uh, at the Pensacola, which misses. I fire my other three batteries at the Nagato, which is of course a very dangerous enemy for me right now. Don't do a lot of damage to him, and he does hit me for like 15,000 damage. I quickly start my repair ability, which is going to grab me back some health, which is very, very useful, very nice. Uh, the Nagato probably hit an iceberg. He's reversing very slowly, so I'm just allow he just allows me to put some shells into him. I reload these uh, frontal batteries a little bit faster, of course, because I fired at the Pensacola earlier. Do about 5,000 damage, which is not too bad. He fires back at me. And there we go. Ooh, seven hits. Another four or five thousand damage. The Pensacola now is almost. There's another Pensacola right in front of me, which I'm like, crap, I need to turn my guns around. So I'm turning my. Uh, but the thing is, I don't really want to turn my guns around because there's two Nagatos and another Pensacola over here. So I decided to go full speed ahead. And there's a battleship oh, just to my. Um, just to my left. I'm actually just pointing at him on the map right now. And um, I, w I was hoping that he would kill that Pensacola, which was pretty much on full health. This Pensacola is putting shells into me. Very smart. I fired there, which wasn't the best idea because I miss him once. He, this guy knew what he was doing. He was trying to play with, all, with the health he had left. But this point, there's an Nagato just there below the scout plane who, if, he, if he's fast enough, he might support the other Nagato and then it's a game over for me. Here, I decided to just fire all my, my shells at the Pensacola. Which I do, I get one hit, only 150 damage. I probably should have loaded HE, but the, damage, but the reload time is you cannot decide to just load HE in one cannon, so I didn't want to, you know, stand up with HE against the Nagato. So here's a, uh, a broadside of three of, out of my five turrets. I got a Citadel hit, a lot of damage on him. And uh, yes, he does return fire, but I'm I'm still doing okay. I go, f I go full back, um, knowing that the Pensacola to my front, or well, now basically to my left, has just been destroyed. It's still a Pensacola to my right, obviously, and still a, a Nagato right here behind the iceberg. So again, he's, he tries to speed up. He doesn't know where I was. I obliterate him. Do about four, five, seven thousand damage there. Again, we're able to reload. One shot misses. Hits the iceberg. Again, a great damage roll of about 10,000 damage. Scout planes, who I do aim for because I want to make sure that the scout plane dies. He just died. They might lose visibility on me soon again, which is what I want. There's a Pensacola, who I still can kill. Um, at this point, I was really afraid of hitting an iceberg and like all the madness that was going on here. So I was really trying to use the um, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 autopilot. The Pensacola is here, and I do get a shot on him. He manages to shoot at me back. Obviously, he does like 5,000 damage, which is good damage roll, I guess, for him. But now I decide, like, no, it's screw you. I'm just gonna fire like two volleys at you again. He still manages to live. I should have loaded HE, but you know, as I said, you can't load HE for just one or two turrets. So I should have probably just fired all my guns at him. He does another, well, three, four hundred damage to me. I actually do fire again, and there he goes. He finally dies, which costs them. Pu Costs them some points, gains us on some points. Um, putting my number at 37 hits, three citadel hits, one critical damage, one airplane shot down, and one destroyed ship. Uh, enemy is left with just six ships, and the uh, Nagato over here seems to have lost a lot more damage. It seems like he hit the rocks. And that was stupid. I hit, I hit his forward, uh, his forward deck. Didn't do any major damage. Allowing him to give me some return fire, which does cost me dearly. It cost me about five, six, seven thousand damage. My secondary batteries are opening up, so are his. Not paying attention. I was hoping the autopilot would save me here because autopilot actually plotted this course. 
throws me full into the iceberg, and it's like, oh crap. Now it's a battle of the of the noobs, um, or if I say so, the the unlucky, because he's hit a couple of icebergs. I have hit a iceberg just now. I have no idea what to really do. Um, trying to get more damage, trying to get more kills, trying at least to kill a Nagato. I probably, uh, you know, I'm going full reverse. He's also going full reverse, trying to not get killed. He knows the game is pretty much over, looking at the scores. We hold, Bra we hold Charlie, we hold Delta. I think nobody's in control of Bravo right now, so we're definitely getting, um, getting the, um, uh, the, the advantage here, especially with the points. There's some dive bombers coming in. I'm telling our, 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 uh, our players, that guy's almost dead. The dive bomber's not really a powerful unit in this game. Don't do a lot of damage to him. The preload plane is coming in. Here's where I go wrong. I probably should have backed up more. I kind of, you know, was pissed off. There we go. He, he dies, though. The Nagato is dead. And I'm here. Yes, this is uh, the best play you'll see in, uh, in, in a long time where I just... <laughs> Should have paid more attention. I was trying to get some damage on these guys. Trying to help my team, you know, flanking the enemy, uh, the uh, Amagi, and the uh, Lexington and the uh, the Ranger. You know, and I'm not paying attention, not really thinking that I would hit the iceberg again, hoping that was going to be in range of those those, those, those guys. I, you know, I'm like, screw it. Am I going to make this? Am I going to make this? And oh, come on, pull, pull harder. Oh. I should not forget to say that my ship is very deep. Keel is not. Oh damn it! I'm like, oh screw this. So I just go full reverse. Knowing the game is pretty much over, I didn't really do anything anymore. Just looking at my ship, looking at the damage I've done, and uh, here we go. That's game. Uh, in about two seconds. Uh, there we go. That's a game. Managed. Um, to do quite okay. Uh, decent amount of money. Forty hits. Couple Citadel hits. Looking at the team score, I got most experience earned, 14, 1425 experience, and a detailed report, 100,000 plus damage done. That was not too bad. Um, I mean, I, I've, I've had worse games, especially in World Warship, where people just call me a noob. Sometimes on with, you know, every right. Sometimes, I guess, just because they wanted to hate. Anyway, this was a great game, in my opinion. I had a lot of fun. Uh, Amagi is a great. Tiri battleship, and um, it's definitely a match for anything on the field right now, and uh, especially because the guns are damn good. You get you get five of them, uh, five double turrets, which is really good, I must say. So, as anyway, as always, I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Claim this love that you never started You once destroyed A broken heart that was already shattered Holding on to what we have You take us to the edge and back Holding on to what we have You take us to the edge